Well, thank you for joining us. Well, thanks for being here. How's development going at the Baraka nuclear park? Uh, unit 1 is uh, very, very close to completion. Uh, we have a couple of critical paths for startup, one around operational readiness, another one around addressing some uh, technical issues that we have in the facility. So you as the operator, when do you start becoming very heavily involved? Is, is it from fueling or, or are you already in, in the throes of it now? We are absolutely are in the throes of it now. There is uh, just a tremendous amount of work that has to be done from an operational readiness standpoint. Um, and you know, we have something like 30 some thousand activities in our schedule. Uh, so we have to complete cer certainly all of our procedures, our processes, our programs, uh, most importantly our training. Uh, we need to train and qualify and in some cases certify uh, our employees and uh, that is uh, you know, certainly taking a, a huge amount of effort as well as you know, if, you know, some things that we're doing around uh, implementation of some um, even some new, newer processes than what we initially had implemented at the, at the facilities. Well, that was going to lead me on to my next question, which is, are you having to find new people? Where are you finding new people? Are you bringing them into the industry or are you picking people from other places in the world? It's uh, very much a company that's we're multicultural and multinational. About 55 to 60 percent of our employees across kind of the three companies that are involved are Emiratis. About 15 to 20 percent are Koreans. And then the rest are expats from all over the world. Um, we have about uh, folks with backgrounds in about 45 different nationalities uh, working in the plant. So what's the long-term positive influence of this build, this reactor? Well, it's huge for, for the United Arab Emirates or the UAE. Uh, when all four units are uh, completed and the projections that we have right now, uh, this facility will be providing 25% of the electricity across the UAE. Number one. Number two, it really is powering the growth of the United Arab Emirates. You know, if you go to Abu Dhabi, you go to Dubai, uh, these are cities that are growing very rapidly, um, a huge amount of uh, construction underway, and uh, of course when that happens, um, you need a lot more electricity. And so uh, that, I think that's why so many of our young Emiratis really are joining the companies. They see it's an opportunity from, you know, a, certainly an economic uh, standpoint, but also uh, because it really does foster the growth of the UAE and uh, you know, ultimately results in, in uh, I think, a much better uh, standard of living for all the residents of the UAE. What's most exciting you about these new reactors? Well, it's a great opportunity, obviously, late in my career to uh, be involved in the construction and the startup of a nuclear unit. Um, Forty years in this industry and I've never had that opportunity, so it's a great opportunity to get engaged in that kind of uh, an opportunity. It's very, very exciting to be able to do that and certainly to be able to see the, the progress being made. And it's also an, a, you know, a great opportunity to help where I can. And um, I'm certainly a strong supporter of this industry and uh, hope it exists for, for you know, many, many, many decades. And so I want to be certain that, that uh, I do whatever I can to help uh, this uh, project and the organization to be successful. I was going to ask you what does the future hold for nuclear, but I think you've just summed it up fairly well. Yeah, I think it, it, it absolutely must be positive. It must be a strong future because if we're really truly um, serious about achieving some of the goals that we have around climate change and around reducing carbon emissions, every reputable study I've seen, whether or not it's from the United Nations, International Energy Agency, uh, has concluded we need not only existing but new nuclear power plants in order to achieve those goals. And so it's a, it's a great place to, great business to be in and I think uh, an industry that, as I said, um, I love and, and I hope it will continue to be successful for many, many decades. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us. All right. Thank you. Thank you.